All right, and we're back again here at Rough Cut Brew Company. We just got through doing the third anniversary beer. Now we're going on to everything around the corner. Not quite yet in stores, but later next week it will be. Started canning the stuff yet. We're getting a taste for canning. So it'll be out next week? Yeah. Next week. Wait, when are you releasing the video? Uh, you'll be seeing this probably on a Monday. Alright, so during the week you see this video, they'll start getting it in the stores because Tuesday, by the day of or day after you see this video, is when they start the canning. Yep. Ooh. Definitely, definitely orange. smell orange. Yeah. I'm liking that. Orange, good hop. Yeah, it's orange and uh, a little zippiness. Right yeah. Kind of a little sour. Hell yeah. Alright. Mm. That is really smooth, yeah. good orange. Usually, once we taste our orange or citrusy, you know, we've got that hard, harsh hit of citrus right yeah. off the bat. This was really smooth. And you are getting that little zing from an orange, yeah. a little, little kind of sourness, a little uh, pop, a little back, sip. Yeah, a little pop to the back of the throat. And that, that afterwards, you start feeling a little bit of the tingling from a, a little bit of a citrus bitter yeah. tingle in the back of your throat. Like I said, we don't know the, uh, uh, the alcohol, so. He'll probably put that in like down here once we find out. If, we'll if, see. If I find out. <laughs> I might be a little too drunk. But that is really a great orange. Yeah. Taste. You're getting the maltiness on the backbone. Good sweetness to it. Not overpowering at all whatsoever. And it really goes smooth and mellows all the way through every yeah. every little stage that you taste. All the way get a little dryness on the very end. But not quite as much dry as on the end as uh, we had the third anniversary. Yeah, the third anniversary was a little drier. So if you had the third anniversary, it's not quite as dry on the end. <laughs> I like it. But it's good. I really think out of the Citrus families and stuff, this is one of, my, one of the ones I would uh, prefer. Oh, no, definitely. Oh, yeah. It's refreshing. Because um, normally you don't have that much smoothness on these citrus beers. No. Usually you got a good strong punch. Yeah. Right off the bat. This one's got a good smooth. And they've got a great turnout today. Oh, yeah. Third anniversary I'd, party. I'd say near 300. Oh, yeah. Bro. And many more. And it just got started. I mean, uh, it started too. It's been going for about an hour or so. If you've ever been to this uh, brewery, like literally, it's a building in the back of a bunch of other buildings. And there's not a lot of room for parking, but you can tell a lot of people carpool today. Yeah, yeah, because there's not a lot of room for parking. Either that or they got dropped off because they knew they could drink some stuff. Like we did. Uh, you know. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Depending on the ABV, I'd say this is honestly just a. Uh, Sit down. If I had to guess it, I'd say drink a lot. Around six. Yeah, this is a good sit down and drink a lot. We'll it's, find out later, but I, I'm guessing somewhere around six. And once again, uh, I think this would be better with say pizza, pasta, uh, better than the, uh, the third anniversary. The third anniversary, honestly, I think is. Uh, We're sitting there with a fruit, uh, a uh, plate of fruit. Oh yeah. Just snacking on Some pineapple. Pineapple, oranges, something with a little uh, little mouth burning zip to it. Grapefruit. I can eat some grapefruit with this one. Oh, oh, yeah. That'd be a good little. Or even maybe some uh, bananas or something. And I think I'm going to go ahead and spin around and he can vote first. Oh, go ahead. 
How do these uh, citrus top beers and everything, I'm going to have to give this one a nine. Okay, because out of the ones I've had that have fruit flavor, citrusy, this is, I, I, I would like to say, one of the smoothest ones. I give it 10 because I love me some pizza beers, and this is definitely with that. Uh, this is one of those beers that's something with a little zest, a little zing, a little burn. A little but not too high on the uh, IBU. Yeah. yeah. It's not that crazy bitter. It's definitely good by itself, and it'd be even better with something to uh, help complement it. Maybe even some teriyaki chicken or some uh, Chinese food. Oh, yeah. Now he's going to make me hungry. Speaking of what? I don't know. I, told, <laughs> I just told Bernie and Nice was good. So. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, Bernie also. Could you pick us up when we're done with Bernie? She's like, yeah, I guess I can. And then she's like, well, what's the plan for dinner? We're going out. We're coming straight back. It's like, I don't think that far ahead. As far as I thought, we had to get to the brewery. <laughs> I just want to know them sober enough to be in public. There you go. That's an uh, awesome beer. You'll be it seeing really it. is good. You'll be seeing it locally, at least within the uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas. Everything Canada. rhymes with one. Yeah, you'll be seeing that. It's definitely one you want to get if you can. Maybe a little, a little up close. You see that can? Buy it. Yep. It's it's good. Even if you even if you've tried beers before that have citrus notes to them and stuff, don't give up on this one. Give it a yeah. try. Yeah. It ain't that harsh hit like most citrus. Right? Well, that's in that. Yep. Just eat it. Just eat it.